Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about some brand new items at the Chanel counter. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell on the side so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. So I do have my iced coffee here on the side ready to go. Grab your iced coffee or your hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So this collection is the new eye eyeshadow eyeliner mascara collection from chanel i don't know if it has a name it says color is the new rule i'm reading off of the website right now so this is the new eye collection um and let me be perfectly honest when i first saw photos of this collection when i saw the four eyeshadow quads my initial response was not oh my god i need this my initial like reaction was wow, this looks so similar to everything else that I have at home. But when I saw them in person, I do find that there are more differences, but a lot of the colors do remind me of other palettes. But then again, most people probably don't have an, as many palettes or don't have as big of a Chanel collection as I do. And I'm, I'm a bit of a makeup hoarder, so that's probably why whenever I see a new collection, I'm like, hmm, I think I have that because I have a bit of everything. So the new eye collection has four different quads. There's the blurry gray, blurry green, blurry mauve, and blurry blue. And then each eyeshadow quad also has a corresponding mascara that has a similar color. So blue, green, etc. And they also have some new eyeliners, the Stilo aux yeux, the waterproof ones. They have new ones and then they also uh, paired them with some previous existing liners already. So I went with the eyeshadow quad at that looks the most different from what I already own at home. I went with the blurry green eyeshadow quad because I don't really own that many green eyeshadows from Chanel. I have Tissé Vénitier, that's an old one. And the greens in that one are very different from these greens. So the quad contains four beautiful satin finish colors. There are no mattes in the quad. There are two dark greens. One pulls a bit more cool tone and one a bit more warm tone. And the same goes for the lighter colors. One is a bit more golden and the other one is a bit more cool toned. There was a quad that came out a couple falls ago that was called like Tissé d'Automne, which I didn't purchase, but that one was like more dark, leafy forest greens. I think blurry green kind of makes me think of that quad, but I don't have that one, so this works for me. The other quads are really beautiful, like the blurry mauve is really nice, but whenever I see Chanel come out with a quad that has a, that one red, it makes me think of Condor et Experience, and it makes me hesitate getting it because I already have Condor et Experience, but a lot of the new quads, like the new, um, the four new quads, they have different textures, so they're not all matte. I think the blurry blue is the only one that is all matte. I think blurry gray has a bit of shimmer, but the blurry mauve has some shimmer. I think one of the ones is a bit of a cream texture. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think. I don't remember exactly what, from uh, when I was in the store. So there are differences between the new eyeshadow collection and some of the previous palettes from the past. And the whole concept behind this collection is layering. So I was watching a lot of the tutorials on the website and it's about smudging the liner, adding shadow, and really just like building and blurring it out because it is called like blurry green. So as I said, I picked up blurry green because that is the one quad that I honestly don't have another one that looks similar to it. And I also picked up one of the mascaras. I picked up the one called, or it's called number 27, and it's the blurry, it's part of the blurry mauve collection. So it looks like a bit purple, a bit red. It kind of looks like the Eros liner. So it has like that kind of plummy reddish um, finish, which I think will look really nice with Condor Experience. And I also picked up one of the new liners. This one is called Intense Teal. This blue is so stunning. So like this is supposed to be intended to go with the blurry blue collection, but wh whatever, it's makeup, we can mix and match because I have Quiet Revolution and I also have Road Movie. And I think I can probably like, yeah, figure something out between those two quads. But this blue is so intense, it's so beautiful that I just, I couldn't pass it up. I don't think that I'll be wearing intense teal or this maroony mascara with our green eyeshadow today, but I did want to pick them up because I want to mix and match them with some previous collections. 
And I also picked up two of the new nail polishes. Now I have number 723 Radiant Verde and number 725 Radiant Blue. These are absolutely stunning and I'm gonna do a whole separate video on these nail polishes because as you can tell, I didn't have a chance to do my nails today. So I'm gonna do a whole video on these and my thoughts and opinions, etc. because I'm a huge fan of Chanel nail polish, as you guys know. So for today, we're just gonna focus on creating an eyeshadow look using the quad here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my old eyeliners that I have from Chanel because I have, um, a couple so with the ones that I have I'm sure I can create something similar to what they have on the website I'm gonna start off by priming my lids I'm gonna use the NARS um, eyeshadow primer here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a liner I'm gonna go into my liner number 857 legendary green it's close to c'est la dent i don't remember what that one what number that one is but it's just like a deep forest green so i'll start off by just doing a line here on top and then maybe in the waterline as well and then over top of that i'll go into the shadows I'm gonna go into this green down on the bottom here and using this Chanel brush, I'm gonna um, write down in the description box all the brushes that I use, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack this on the mobile lid and making sure that I go over top of the liner. Oops, I have a little bit of like halo going on with the liner here, oh well. Wow, this color is very beautiful. Okay, that was very easy. Let's move on to the other eye. I went and I only did one eye at first because I know that these waterproof liners tend to dry down pretty fast, so. They somehow managed to do much cleaner lines on the website. They always do like one little swipe and it's like a perfect line. Mine doesn't look like that. I have one eye that's more hooded, so it seems to like imprint whatever I have here in like a little halo. Um, so next is layering. I feel like Lucia Pica is all about layering, which I, I don't know. It's like kind of new to me. I think it was with the spring palette this year that she was talking about layering different shimmer shadows, which I don't often think of layering shimmer shadows. Usually I'm like, okay, so one matte and one shimmer, but no, she likes to layer a lot. Let's go into this golden one here on the top. And I'm going to place this over top of the green line here. I'm just going to take a separate um, clean blending brush and just buff this out. So one step that I forgot to do that's part of the video is that they also take the liner and trace on the bottom waterline. So let me do that. I don't have the same one as in the video because they have this like, I forget what it was called, but it's like this lighter green one with golden specks. It looked okay, but it wasn't like wow. And I knew that I already had several different green liners, so I decided to stick with the ones that I had. and then taking a clean pencil brush, I'm just smudging out that green liner. I am noticing a little bit of fallout with the darker green shadow, but that's okay, we're gonna do our face makeup after. So now I'm gonna go back into the dark green with the more tapered side, and I'm going to trace this on the bottom here. Okay, let's go ahead and skip to the face makeup and then we'll finish up the eyes afterwards. I'm gonna go into my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I am in the shade Medium. And then for the concealer, I'm going into my Clé de Peau Concealer in the shade called Almond. And then for a bit of bronzer, I'm going into my Fenty Matchstick in Mocha. And I'm gonna go into my Chanel Je Contraste number 72, Rose Initiale, just like a light little pink. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my quad here and I'm gonna go into the lightest shade here. I haven't got into this one yet. I'm gonna use a sponge. It's so funny because in the video, uh, or in the videos on the Chanel website, they always do the entire looks with the little sponges and I'm like, mm, uh, you didn't use a brush at any point? I don't know, I'm just saying. So, taking a little sponge, I'm going to apply this in the inner corner right here. And then for the mascara, I'm going to go over top with a regular black mascara. This is the Dior Show Pump in Volume HD. And then for the lip, I'm going to go into this Rouge Coco Flash number 82, Live or Live. I think it's like a perfect color. It's like the perfect nude. It's super hydrating. Anyway, I talk about this so much because it's so fantastic. So there you guys go. This is the finished look. I like how this came out. This is definitely a new approach for me. I rarely ever do liner first and then eyeshadow. That always makes me think of like a smoky eye, but I don't think that this looks that intense. We could have taken it much darker and made it a real smoky eye, but as is, I think this is appropriate for every day. I think this is daytime uh, workwear. You could do less liner, less mascara if you want, but this is like for me an everyday kind of makeup look. Overall, I do like the palette. The four satin shadows are beautiful. They all have the same satin texture. They are very opaque. It takes very little work to get the color that you want. You really just have to dip in, even with a sponge, and you get the color payoff right away. They blend very well. They're easy to wear. There is a bit of fallout with a darker color, but that is to be expected with a lot of dark shadows, and that's why we do our face makeup afterwards. I'm very happy with this purchase. I'm glad I got the blurry green quad because it is unlike most of my other quads. I am wondering now if that green um, liner with the collection, the new one with a little gold flake, would make my eyes look a little bit different. I don't know, we'll see. I might be tempted to buy a new liner. What a shock. Anyway, I think that this whole collection, this new, the, the four new eye quads, I don't think that these are intended, like if you are someone who wants to buy your very first quad ever, I don't think that these are for you because they can be pretty dark. And this one here, the green one is beautiful, but there are no mattes. And I think the blue one has no shimmer, it's all matte. So I think that these are quads that you add to your collection once you already have. Like for me, for example, I used a liner that I already had. I didn't have to buy one of the ones that came with the collection and for the same for the mascara. I just think that with the looks they have intended and that they're showing on the website, it does seem like a bit more advanced in a way. Like this is not like the quad that you buy and like, that's it, that's all. Like It's like, I think of Les Beiges, the one that came out a few months ago, as the, the quads that you could just buy and like not have to buy anything else because you could do your looks for day, evening, etc. for work and not have to buy anything else because it has a mix of cool tones and warm tones and mattes and shimmers, whereas this whole collection here, I don't know about that, but that's just my opinion, so you can do with that what you want. There was something else that I wanted to say about the collection, but I have completely forgotten if it's very important. I'll leave it in the comments section or somewhere. I don't know. I was going to say something. I don't know. just left my brain. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys got some inspiration and some ideas on how to use your products at home. I will be doing several more videos on this new eyeshadow collection. I will be doing more with the quad. I will be doing different ones with the liner and ones with the mascara. I'll be doing videos on the nail polishes so if you are not subscribed i highly recommend that you do because whenever i pick up a collection i always do several videos they're very thorough if you happen to have any of these products at home you will learn multiple different ways to wear them so you end up getting your money's worth instead of just buying a product and then having it sit on your counter Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and please let me know down in the comments if you have picked up any of these blurry quads or if you are planning on getting them. Oh, I think I remember what I was gonna say. Um, I think the, one of the reasons why I hesitated buying the collection at first is because I feel like there have been so many new Chanel releases, which is fun because I'm a Chanel lover or addict, but at the same time, they're coming out so close to each other. 
Um, especially here in Canada, there seems to be like a two month delay, which is so infuriating because I'm seeing everyone else online <laughs> that I have friends online all over the world who have had these like the blurry quads for like a month now. And I'm like here impatiently waiting. But I found that with the Les Beige release, I think there was some sort of delay because they said it was going to be released much earlier than it did. And then they released the Les Beige collection at the same time as they released the Cruise collection, which made no sense to me because as far as I was concerned, the quads or the eyeshadows from the Le Beige and the Cruise collection, they kind of looked identical. Not like identical, but they were warm toned eyeshadows. Like how many of those can I buy? At least like stagger them so that I have more of an excuse to buy them because I'm not going to buy both palettes at the same time. If they're staggered like three months separate, I'm like, okay, I can kind of justify that. But anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. So yeah, now I'm done for sure. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.